Hello, everyone. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from round four of the Philadelphia System Open. I have a co-host this round. His name is... I'm Scott Forster, formerly of the Tucson Raiders, now of Kappa Squadron. Oh, I didn't know I didn't know that you moved camps. I've just moved, yeah. I oh. mean, I'll always be a Tucson Raider at heart, but, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I just moved to central Pennsylvania this uh, past fall. All right, man. Well, so we have a matchup here. Now, Scott... Funny thing, uh, unfor unfortunately got here late for the event. I did. I mean, good news, we clo we signed closing papers for our house. That's pretty strong. That's a win. That's Yeah, that's a win. Uh, showed up late. They're like, do you want to join at 0-2? I said, nah, I'll just hang out for side events. Right. Turns out nobody's dropping. So I joined the tournament at 0-3. Okay. And guess who got the buy this round? This guy. This guy. <laughs> <laughs> Easiest prize tickets ever. There you go. And so, you know, Scott's going to be hanging out with me because he's got a buy. And, you know, it's, it's better than just sitting around doing nothing. Right. That's what I did last round. <laughs> I, I didn't know. I was like, oh, he's going to play side events. And then by the end of the game, it was like, he never played side events. No, just sat around, <laughs> chatted on Facebook, charged my phone. There you go. Watched other people play X-Wing. There you go. It's worth the price of admission. Well, you know what? We're going to watch people play X-Wing again, All but right. now we're going to talk about it, too. All so right. let's go ahead and break down our matchup. All right. It's like we got Seneca Presley here with a Lando, Luke, and Braylon list. Very similar to what Ron was running last round, yeah? Yep. Did Ron win that round? I Ron did win it. that round. He, uh, he knocked me out of the Kappa Cup one week after Worlds with that... Uh, that Lando, Luke, and Wedge list. It's good uh, list. Solid. So here we've added Nyin Nub to uh, Lando. Open up those three banks. And we got ye old reliable Braylon with crack shot. Are you running your own timer for this? I can. Do you want you? Let me double check with you. Go ahead and start your own timer. Okay. Uh, now. And then I'll double check it. But yeah, they're just starting now. There's no okay, cool. So I think, I think we're plus seven then. All right. Plus seven. Oh, they're just starting, so we're plus yeah. seven. Cool. All right. The other side of the table, we got James Androsky with a two-ship cis list, Darth Maul and Sunfac. That's it. I think that takes some, some courage, I believe. Right? All right. So we got uh, Hate, Auto Blasters, Perceptive Copilot, Count Dooku, and Proximity Mines on Maul. And then Sunfac has Ensnare and Gravetic Deflection. That's a card you don't see too often. Let's go no. ahead. Let's go ahead and read that. It says, while you defend, you may re-roll one defense dice for each tractored ship in the attack arc. I see that being strong with like multiple Nantexes, where you get more than one tractored ship. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, obviously, uh, these guys are both 4-0, oh, yeah? Yeah. So it's working out, uh, I guess, in those oh, no, situations. Sorry, these guys are X, the X and 1 right oh, now. They're, they're on the one. cusp. All right. On the cusp. So uh, I, I, it's a nice uh, fail-safe if you don't get to hand off that tractor token with Sunfac. Uh, you get to re-roll one of your two dice instead of just rolling three. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if you do get that tractor off, now you got three dice and hopefully a re-roll, which is really hard to hit. And one thing to remember with, uh, looks like he's keeping Sunfac and Darth Maul together. He can pass off those tractor tokens to Maul, no consequences. Yeah, all day, nothing it, happens. It doesn't happen because you require three tractor tokens in order to be considered tractor on a large base. Oh, that's solid. And then if Maul's in the attack arc, now he's rolling three dice. Oh, no, because Gravitic says it has to be tractored. Right, so tractored, yeah. yeah. But that means that he can do that, again, doesn't make him lose agility, nothing. It's just very nice. Just great. Just free reposition. I'm kind of. I was kind of expecting Maul to have uh, uh, tractor beam himself when I saw this. Uh, saw them setting up. So mm -hmm. uh, just to give out you know, the chance of tractoring a large ship. But then oh, yeah. I guess he'd have to have uh, what is it? The thing that makes you shoot first with the force heightened perception. Yes. He'd have to have that too. And hate is so good on those uh, it's infiltrators. So. All right, so those of you watching at home, we're going to go ahead and pull up our Choose Your Champion poll. If you've never participated, it's super easy. All you got to do is type one or two in the chat for who you think or want uh, to win the game. You know, Scott, you've, you've watched the stream before, I'm sure. I have. You know, are you a person that, sh when we do the polls, do you choose the person 
who you think's going to win or the person you want's going to win? I choose the person I want to win. Okay. Usually it'll be, uh, oh, I, I'm flying Imperial Aces and they've got Imperial Aces. I want them to win so I feel better about myself the next tournament I go to with my Imperial <laughs> Aces. Uh, I've got a little grudge against Lando and, uh, and friends, and this uh, Darth Maul and Sunfac list uh, looks really interesting. I mean, it's Sunfac, but other than that, it looks really interesting. So let's talk. I would have pressed two. You would have pressed two. All right. <laughs> not, to, not to sway the viewers. <laughs> um, <laughs> you're, you're changing the vote? Um, so now here, here's my question. You know, the, the choice for, I lost my window here, the choice for Auto Blaster on Maul. Yeah, I find that I find that pretty interesting. It, it being a large base and it has a lot of motion in the in the bullseye when you do that barrel roll. If you do that barrel roll right, right. on Maul, I'm curious to see if uh, if he can actually ma make it work. Yeah, I mean he might just be going for the uh, insurance against like Jedi and Imperial Aces. If he can pull off a surprise 5K and get that shot out of arc and roll a crit, that's just going through, right? I do love this comment in the chat. It says, show us that hair, Scott. <laughs> you do have beautiful hair. Oh, thank you. It's like awesome curls, guys. <laughs> you, you know Scott Forrester when you see him. Right? It's, uh, I cut it one year before Gen Con and like, had three different people come up to me so disappointed. <laughs> waiting to see my hair all year. I literally got a text from somebody. Quick question. Are you streaming at PAX this weekend? Uh, yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm here. Right. Do I, Actually, do I, do I know this person? Go to twitch.tv slash gold squadron. That's right. Podcast. I'm going to send them a picture of us casting. I think that's <laughs> the appropriate response right now. Do you, would you like to be in the picture, Scott? I'd love to be in the picture. Okay, here we go. Oh. Let's take right, three. <laughs> uh, we'll turn it sideways so that they can see. You got to see the hair. Yeah. <laughs> Two, one. <laughs> All right. We almost got him. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we almost destroyed you guys so hard. Barely escaped getting photobombed by Chris Allen. Yep. Hey, and Wade. And Wade, that's oh. right. I mean, that, that would have been extra. But then, then I would have had dirt on Wade. That would have been great. I should have, <laughs> I should have, I should have waited a you little bit longer. you got to hit longer. that burst on those selfies and see yeah. what you get. That's right. <laughs> All right. So looking at the Choose Your Champion poll right now, it seems I wonder if we're getting some influence from what happened last game. People are, are voting pretty heavily for Seneca. Um, all those modifications in that list, it's just really, really good, right? So right. you got Lando with Neon Nub that allows you to get an extra action or right. to either himself or a friendly ship at range one to three, which is a huge, absolutely huge right. circle. Giant coordinate. Yeah, exactly. So he can get target lock focus for himself or you know, Ollie oop something to someone else. Uh, you got Luke Skywalker, which has the Force, which is practically a focus token for him. Right. You can target lock there. There's another target lock focus. They got Braylon able to focus, barrel roll, take a stress, and now with his ability to get rerolls. Everybody gets a reroll and focus. Seems strong. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, it's. Uh, I would not want to put Darth Maul in front of that. Darth Maul will get a lot of fo force back. Uh, if he's facing all three of those uh, fully modified shots, but uh, he won't have much health left. <laughs> That's right. Look at all my force. <laughs> look, at, look at all your life. It's gone. <laughs> it's, it's not even a grievous there to, uh, to help him tank damage. That's right. I do like that Count Dooku and Proxmine combo, though. We had a guy in Tucson for a while who was running uh, Maul with Dooku and Proxmines and some vultures, and uh, it was just horrible when he would get you, and he had a tractor beam, he, he gets that bomb on you, and he's like, oh, by the way, one of those dice is a crit. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Uh -oh. Unless you don't roll a crit, or unless you do roll a crit, then you take a crit anyway. That's right. Um, another thing about some of the tech here on Maul, he does have the Count Dooku crew equipped there. So let's go ahead and read that down. Count Dooku uh, gives you a, an extra force, and it reads, before a ship at range 0 to 2, Rolls attack dice or defense dice. Oh, looks like we might have a, a lock check here. Look like. Might be just a little bit out for initial engage. Uh, looks like. Oh, Sun, Sun Fat gets to move too. I see a lock token happen, so I guess he was out. It says before a ship at range 0 to 2 rolls attack or defense dice. If all of your force are active, you may spend one of your force and name a result. If the roll does not contain the named roll, the ship must change one die to that result. So that's using maybe guaranteeing that auto blaster. 
Oh, you yeah. Say, you say crit, and you're going to get it no matter in. what. Yeah, if he's out of arc, yeah, good call. Oh. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. well. Mm. Game state. <laughs> After bumping it, maybe not, <laughs> maybe, maybe not in range anymore. Oh, yeah, let me bump him out of range real quick. Uh, Now, Scott, just so you know, we can we can hear the table okay. when it's time, but the world cannot hear. Gotcha. The world we have to keep we have to keep their ears, you know, safe. Safe. We don't know what can come out of Never these players' mouth. Never know when somebody's gonna get on Gold Squadron and say some naughty words. That's <laughs> Nami. <laughs> <laughs> say some Nami words. Oh my goodness. You, you were you were at Worlds, right? I, I was like at I Worlds. Yes. Did, did uh, you hear what Nami did? I did. I did hear. <laughs> <laughs> I will not repeat what, what Nami did. Yep. Um, but yeah. No, I went to I went to broadcasting school. The mic is always open. That's right. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it looks like James is trying to go through his decision making, trying to see what he wants to do with Sunfac. Remember when he takes, if and when he takes that tractor beam, it he is. must move the uh, the arc there. We'll see if that gets him out of range. He's going to be forced to uh, to keep it. He has no one to pass it to. At least he has his gravitic deflection. Very true. The arc is forward and the action is evade. evade. All right, I think Sunfac and Lando are going to be trading some shots here. Looks like. Range three from Sunfac into Lando. Two big dice. Two on two. One hit. Safe. Easy. Yes, that's true. You, you're supposed to rotate the arc before you move, just in case. Fact. Hit, crit, crit coming in from. Woo. Oh. You've got one reroll. Oh. Could we see a one shot sun fact? Uh, he's got that evade token, so he's going to. Oh, work. that's. Well, it could be, yeah. Crit, crit, could be. Yeah. He's going down at least two. What do we got? We got structural, structural damage, damage. And I can't read it. Okay. Structural damage and damage engine. Okay. The half giving up half points immediately on Sunfac in the initial engagement. Ooh, that's rough. That that uh, that's rough. Well, so I find I find James' list interesting, right? Because it, it does like. <sighs> Having such little health on Sunfac means that if you leave him out to dry, which I, you know, two on one happening here pretty soon. Right, yeah. Um, you're, you're just coughing up 83 points. Right. Right that's, there. That's rough. You do not want to do that. I'm a little surprised Sun ended up out there all by himself. Mm-hmm. Um, and that Gravitic Deflection. I, uh, I tried out a triple Nantex, triple Gravitic Deflection at the first chance qualifier uh, at Worlds. And... Um, those re-rolls, those green dice, still very unreliable. Sunfac died after rolling a total of six dice in one turn and getting no paint because, you know, that's what they do. <laughs> it felt really strong you, until, you know, the four health ship just explodes. I think you need the triple blanks, this is the way shirt that we're... Mm. Did you see our new our new merch? I have not. This is the way. Yeah. Oh. Uh, 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 you need to get your hands on it. Out of the loop. That's right. I'm you in. can type exclamation point. Uh, merch in the chat. We got our new This Is The Way t-shirt. You got triple triple blank dice. You got your options. Triple blanks or triple natty evades or triple crits. Nice. Whatever feels good. We got to get Duncan the uh, the triple evade one. Right. Right. Everybody constantly calls for him to be, you know, save me Duncan. Right. This is the way. Save me Duncan. Whatever here. Is that a pr product... Uh uh, sponsorship uh, possibility with uh, Duncan Howard, you know. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Model this, boy. <laughs> I totally should. <laughs> I'm making that happen. I have to. <laughs> right. 
Right. Which actually, this is a perfect opportunity to say thank you to Curl Paw Creatives. Use coupon code UNPLUGGED2019 for 15% off an order of $15 or more at the Curl Paw Creative shop. Thank you for sponsoring these and all the rounds this weekend. Yeah, they've got those new uh, hyperspace jump tokens for uh, Aces High. I've been looking at getting some of those. Because, you know, everything has to be acrylic if it can be. That's right. I mean, this stuff just lasts way longer, and it looks nice forever. Um, they even have the, the victory point tokens. Oh, yeah. Those are acrylic. Um, nice. The, uh, what are those things called? For Epic, the new wing tools. Got Epic oh, versions of all those, those as yeah, well. Yeah, those look really nice. All right, here's a three bank from Lando. That is a blue maneuver because of Nian. Right. Allowing him to do some more actions. Yeah. I think if if Darth Maul had a boost, this positioning is okay. But because right. he doesn't, it, it really hurts. I mean, Darth Maul maybe can win a duel with a B-Wing while Sun gets destroyed by the rest of the uh, the, the Rebels. I don't think that's a, that's a good setup. <laughs> but yeah, he, he really seems like he wants to come around and, and help out Sunfag. Unless Sun's just five straighting out of here, but even then I think he's getting shot by everyone. Mm -hmm. So Lando has a lock on him. Luke has a lock on him. That is not a happy Sun fact. No, no, no. And I believe right now the arc is to the uh, left and right. Uh, yes, correct. And let's see what Sunny did. Oh, sorry, this is Maul. This is Maul. Three Play. hard. Ooh. Is he going to hit that rock? Yep. Wishes he was Lando right now. No. Oof. So, I mean, this is one of those cases of maybe just like, he, you know you're behind. You, you take the risky move because it gives you a better chance to win in the long run. Right. Like, I think he's really, uh, really, uh, that first round of fire, that first single shot into Sunfac, maybe put him a, uh, a little bit into panic mode. Oh, yeah. I mean, if Sunfac can do his Sunterfell impression over here and just troll two-thirds of the uh, Rebel list, then Maul can just go and eat a Braylon, and you come out ahead. But Sun is not doing his Sunterfell impression, except for, you know, that Sunterfell impression died of one or two shots. Right. But, uh, <laughs> All right, so did the five straight, did not hit the debris. Has some options here. It doesn't, from the angle, I don't think he has the ability to barrel roll this way. Well, he does because uh, Tractor Beam lets you go into obstacles. Oh, it sure does. You're right. If he wants to just stress himself. No, he's boosting. He's boosting forward. He did turn the arc before moving this time. So and that's, he's going to be able to pass off that, uh, that Tractor Beam to, to Luke. That's Luke with the orange. Yep. And uh, that is going to, he'll be able to pull him forward onto the debris and avoid that shot. Right. And then take a nice, uh, nice five dice shot at him, uh, range, range one through the debris. Yep. Or four dice, I guess. It's five dice if you get him in the bullseye. Yeah. Takes the focus, going offensive here. And passing it over. Shockingly, Luke is tractored. Right under the debris. All right, going. Everything is going as we have foreseen it. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> and rolls the crit. Woo! <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Oops. Twelve percent chance, and there it uh, rears its ugly crit. Did he call Dooku on that, or did he just come up natural? Natty's baby. Sun fat going for that uh, Woo, 4v2. Oh, you spend that. Yeah. You spend that all day. You're dying anyway. Okay. He's going to hold okay, on to it. He's a little it. more cautious than you and me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dinging one more shield off of Luke. Yep. I feel it's... Uh, I feel like he he... He's probably going to take damage from Lando and probably die anyway. Yeah. And it's one of those, like, here's an opportunity well, to just try to try to main well, Luke, who's a super defensive ship. It's hard to tell from here. If he pulled Luke into that uh, Lando arc, then he's going to have four dice maybe from the debris plus a reroll on his defense with that focus. Maybe he's, uh, you know, he's got a plan of some kind. Oh, cock die. 
hit hit crit coming in from Lando into Sunny. It is obstructed because of the angle. Oh, oh Natty's baby. Get some Natty's in the chat. Let's see it. See, I told you you should have spent that focus. <laughs> <laughs> Hindsight 2020. Right. <laughs> Looks like we got. Oh, wait. He forgot structural damage on Sunfac. Oh, he did. Go get him. James. 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 He had structural damage. Rewind. He's got a. He's got. Yeah, just roll again, yeah. I don't remember what the uh, what the hits were on the uh, Lando attack. Or that's less good. He's got his gravitic and structural damage for the kill. That's yeah. I think I think yeah, Lando has he's three gone. hits. That was Braylon's attack they've got out there. Yeah. Uh, it was four hits, so. Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah. A sad moment in Natty history. Yeah. He only needed two to get through, so. Yeah. All right, so that looks like two, two shields mall. on the mall. Whew. Well, the internet mourns for a moment as another sun fact dies. F's in the chat, boys and girls, <laughs> peoples. He did originally get all of AIDS. He originally got four oh. of AIDS through the obstructed through that the, is the uh, debris. Worst. Came back with only three dice and only rolled one of eight, even with the gravitic reroll. Uh huh. I guess one of those things like. You know, like League Night, you're like, oh, that's fine. It's fine. It was three of age. You rolled one extra. Right. No big deal. But premier event, you got to go by the book. Right. Yeah, and seriously. League Night, a guy rolls four natties. I'm like, oh, well, if you'd rolled three dice, clearly you would have rolled three natties. Right. But <laughs> <laughs> you earned those. <laughs> right. But, uh, yeah, the book is uh, re-roll, re-roll. So there we are. And a Sunfac who maybe took a... A uh, non-favorable engagement there mm -hmm. uh, went down. Maybe not favorable. You never know. It's one of the, like I'd be curious. I think the setup here. I like the idea of of like kind of like split, right? In order to get a larger force to. Oh, uh, we we lost our connection. One second. Oh. Here. Getting. In We had been good for a while, and it just crashed. Are we still live? Or? Well, it's recording. Hello, future people. Hello, future people. You're the only ones that will ever hear this. And the saddest thing right now is the, uh, is the chat from Dion with Gold Squadron Natties, Gold Squadron Natties, Gold Squadron Natties uh, <laughs> in, his, in his chat box, but it never, never hit enter no. because <laughs> Sunfac is dead. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Should be spinning. It's just delete that <laughs> <laughs> should come up back in a second there we go <laughs> that's right <laughs> Sunfac was running the stream yep All right, we should be back up. Uh, yeah, we were actually discussing that uh, reality. The uh, uh, might have been after we were off that uh, you know, casual night, guy rolls four natties. You just go, okay. Well, clearly, if you'd rolled three dice, they would have all been natties. So whatever. But right. System open. Official rule book says you rolled too many dice. Pick them up. Roll again. Yep. It's it avoids all of the like although the what if situations that right. might come up. It's like well, let's just. Just, hey, just do it again. Just make doesn't it right. put anybody on the spot like, well, is that okay? Oh, I guess it's okay. You know, that, right. that can lead to bad we, feelings either way. Right. 
So I feel like Sunfac was trying to bait the Rebels so that Maul could get behind with that auto blaster and start doing some auto hits. Yes, I agree. But, uh, <laughs> he, he baited too well. <laughs> yep, that, ha that happens. All right, we're going to go ahead. Felsepto, thank you so much for gifting that sub. He's gifted 60 subs. That's a, Ooh, that's nice. a lot. Do me a favor. I'm just going to double check something. Did this reconnect on its own? It did. Okay, good. Oh. Thank you. All right, we got some action here. Yeah. Oh. Oh, ah. And here's a lock. Hit, hit, crit from Lando into Darth Maul. Dooku evade. Two and a crit. Two shields and a crit. Crit says it's behind the, the pole. Oh, panic pilot. Oof. Well, that goes away immediately. <laughs> And we're waiting for the next round. I think uh, Maul's got a shot on, oh, you're on right. Luke here. Four dice into Luke. Oh, I see a force being spent. That's right. Calling using, something. Using Dooku. Called crit. Oh, he's only rolling three dice there. That might have been the auto blaster, which is not necessary because no. Luke rolled no evades. <laughs> Direct hit into Luke. Luke down to one. It was auto blaster. All right. That's uh, we we speculated about that before using using Dooku to make sure the auto blaster is unblockable. Of course, you can't stop me. Seneca helping out by just rolling uh, rolling blanks. We got Braylon into uh, Darth Maul. Double, double, double mods. Always really good. Use a force. Using another force, taking one more. That means that uh, Dooku is not usable again for a while until right. all those well, forces are back up. He's going to get one back from Hate. He and just then did right turn, there. Turn, he'll get one back. So yeah, he'll be one short. Kind of a catch twenty-two there. Do you want to just take the damage so you go back to full? Take two, go back all the way up full. Let, Probably not when you're on five health versus an entire squad. Let's roll this back a little bit. Let, let's let's live in the past a little. All right. Remember that focus result that he didn't spend on yes. attack? Oh, my gosh, yes. Luke could be gone. Luke could be dead right now. Luke might have been dead then. There were some crits in there. Yep. But, yeah, that's, uh, that would make the mountain that Darth Maul has to climb just slightly smaller. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and hi hide those dice for now. So, right now, Seneca is leading 134 to 31. Yeah. Do we think, w what is the situation, while it might be far-fetched, <laughs> that James could make this, make this a game? Make this a game? Um, he needs to figure out some way to separate them. Right now, uh, Braylon's coming towards him, and the other two ships are going away. Um, it's not that hard to turn those ships around, obviously, but I feel like he needs to finish off Luke. You don't want to waste, have that damage be wasted. The problem is while he's finishing off Luke, Braylon's coming up behind him and Lando's giving Luke extra actions or he's just pinging with the turret. I, I don't know. I mean, there's 48 minutes left. He could break off and try and, try and uh, outfly Braylon, but it's hard to get around a B-Wing even when you're higher uh, initiative and have a large base stressful barrel roll. Mm -hmm. He's just going to do one speed maneuvers and you're going to be in that giant arc somewhere. And he's going to probably barrel roll into this rock for, uh, you know, half a target lock. And uh, yep. yeah. Two thirds of target lock. 
That's true. At that range, two thirds would target All right, Lando moving slow to make sure that he has an opportunity to fire. Yep. And this will one bank, relock. Maul, get himself a focus. Luke's on his own. Frankly, I would think Luke's out of there. He actually gave the lock to Luke. Oh, he did. I Orange see. is yep. uh, is Luke. Oops. Which, by the way, those colored markers can be bought on curledpawcreatives.com. I use the colored sides for the stream, but they actually do have letters and numbers on the other side. Nice. As well. Yeah, since you've gone to colored markers for ships on uh, Gold Squadron, it's been so much easier to follow swarm play. Yes. <laughs> I imagine it's easier for you to follow as well. Oh, good God, yes. Oh, uh, Darth Maul is not happy. Trip three stress. stress. I kind of feel like you just want a hard turn there so you can shoot. But. Might have been thinking that Luke could have been on an exit trajectory, and because Lando was forced to the bottom, that he would have had maybe a couple turns yeah. to regroup here. But Luke is Luke's Ma right there. Yeah. It's like he got out of Lando's arc, but here comes Luke's shot. Time to, time to regenerate some more force for Darth Maul. All right, here we go. Nope. One crit, spends the lock, and mm. uses the force for hit, hit, crit. Whew. Could end it here with some bad crits. Got one evade. Use the force, baby. Use the force. Take a crit. Get a force back. Let's see what the crit Two. is. Got direct, a direct hit. hit. Boom, boom. Hey, got another force back. <laughs> and that means that Dooku is live again. Dooku is live for Braylon's shot. Somebody in the chat here, does Kuropaw Creative sell just small base turret indicators? Yes. No. Well, yeah, I have got, some of those. They're very got, nice. You got to find the, there's a bunch of different listings. And if you have trouble finding anything that's specifically listed, just contact Andrew. He's got you, fam. Nice. Press so it looks the, like Braylon was out of range because we're dropping dials. Fel Septo, thank you so much for your generosity, man. I see you uh, gifting people a bunch of subs and stuff. That's absolutely awesome. And as I compliment somebody, the internet goes out. Wow. You've taken out the internet with the power of your compliment. <laughs> <laughs> it's just uh, yeah, Darth Maul dropped a bomb, and that bomb took out the uh, PAX Unplugged That's the internet. <laughs> Just gonna drop that bomb just because it's there, because you're you think you're gonna die this turn anyway. Yeah. I believe in you, Yeti. Staff, internet. Error, you are not connected. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was not aware. <laughs> All right, one straight. Luke going first to clear that stress and make Lando's job easier. All right, we should be up and running again. Luke and Braylon bearing down Lando. Corey. I have to take a second. I know that we're alive, but my man, Corey Harold, the the designer of our new logo. Ah, very nice. That's right. The man. <laughs> Did you debut that at Worlds or? Yeah, at Worlds we debuted it. We made it big. We got the shirts, all all the very all nice. the stuff. You keep getting harassed by this yeah, flag. Yeah, right. It's fine. <laughs> I see the guest seat just gets harassed by a fantasy flight that, flag. It's correct, fine. yeah. It's it's a hazing ritual. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Oh. 
All right, here we go. Engagement. Hit crit. Reroll. I imagine you want to call evade here. Call evade. Yep, calls the evade. Yeah, he gets an evade. Neat. And Suffers a crit. No double damage. That's what he's looking for. No doubles. Anything but doubles. Hull breach. Uh, All right. That's a blank crit. Doesn't when he doesn't dies, matter. there will be. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in just so I can play with the interface. <laughs> It'll Ooh. definitely be crits when he dies. Poke poke poke. poke. Is that a is that a crack shot shot from Braylon? That's uh. Yeah, that that's pretty deadly. That could be it. Braylon range three. Mm, there's that. Only needs one third of a target lock. That's. That's it. He's about to put them all in the coffin. I can call evade again, thanks to hate. If he had three dice. Oh, Oof. Yep. And that is it. Unless we counted wrong. I don't think so. Oh, he's, I think because of hate, he went back up to full. You know, maybe I'm wrong. I think... He went back up to full uh, force after getting hit by Luke, and then he uh, called Dooku of eight again, but then they're checking crack shot. They're going to go ahead and count out the cards. Pretty sure that's it. That's the sixth damage card. Yep. And that is it. That's the game. All right. Well, thank you so much to Seneca and James for playing. There's a handshake. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Now, we have so much time. Let's do some giveaways. Scott, you want to help me with some giveaways? Let's do some giveaways. I love it. Uh, all right. So our giveaways are brought to you by District Foundry. They do cool stuff. Cool stuff like this. We're actually going to be giving this away during the final. Nice. So uh, anybody who's going to in the chat during the final has, has an opportunity <laughs> to win this. Uh, see, see the flag. The flag. Flag Maybe, attack. It, I wonder, could we? Uh, we'll. we'll I, I, don't wanna, I don't want to knock over an entire <laughs> flag. <laughs> yeah, all, all on the streaming gear. So uh, this is a tournament solution box made by District Foundry. Has, of course, whatever cover you want on there. You got places for your bases. It actually does hold small, uh, small, medium, and large bases because there's different levels, and depending on the base size, you fit it in that spot. You do have... Template trays, small profile for tournaments like this where you don't have a lot of space. And, of course, card and um, what are those things? Spinny thingamajigs, dials, that's what that's <laughs> called. Had a brain moment there. Uh, right. Dial holder. You can, of course, also order the larger version where you can actually fit the ships in there, too. Yeah, it's very nice. I've got one of those right down here in my kit. See, so right, my, right. Uh, my X-Wing stuff that hasn't played at all today. <laughs> Soon. It already, you know what? Didn't even have to take it out. Got a W. That's right. <laughs> so what we're going to do, guys, for our giveaways, because, again, I didn't bring um, the full inventory of cards, we're, we're doing GSP prize packs, okay? Loot boxes, some might call them. Ooh. Okay. And you get three cards, three random things. I, I have cards from literally around the world scott oh wow okay very nice and i just i have so much and with only doing one card at a time a lot of times like I, i'm never going to be able to give them all away like right. it's impossible it's like well this is a good opportunity give three to four away at a time and uh <laughs> oh there's a brent wong there's a brent <laughs> brent we're being assaulted by this flag over and over again so we're going to go ahead he has and no authority over flags that's that's right it's like listen i just i just judge here okay <laughs> So we're going to go ahead, pull up the giveaway machine. All you have to do is type in the chat, guys. Doesn't matter what you type, emotes, words, a number from right now, go ahead and type. So, Scott. Yes, sir. What, what are you going to play? What am I going to play? Yeah. I'm going to play some X-Wing, you know. <laughs> but what's, what, what, what list? I got, um, uh, I got some Imperial Aces here. We got, uh, we got Darth Vader with uh, fire control system and afterburners. All right. And precognitive reflexes. Yes, the pre okay. uh And we've got uh, naked uh, in, a Grand Inquisitor and a naked Sunter Fell flying on his wing. Just uh, had to slim those guys down as much as possible because you the really need the bid for the precog. Yeah. Uh, it's still at 193. Yeah. But yeah, precog has saved me so much damage in <laughs> practice games. My practice for this event, worthless. But I'll play tomorrow in the, uh, <laughs> in the second chance qualifier. That's right. The second chance, not the, the first chance. It it's the second chance. That's right. the, the world qualifier. World qualifier. Yeah. That's right. All right, guys, let's go ahead and find out who wins. I press the button. You say the name, Scott. All right, where's Three, it going to be? 
two, one. Winner is. Count zero with. I think it's the Wisconsin, I think. Ah. I might, be, I might be wrong, but I think it's for Wisconsin. So congratulations. Remember to type exclamation point win in the chat so that you can claim your prize. Next one. It's three. count zero win is what it is. Count zero win. That's right. That's right. <laughs> three, two, one. Get it. Oh, Dexstar's Lab. I like it. I like Dexstar's it. Dexstar's Lab. Dexstar's Lab. Dexstar's Lab. You know. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Whatever that. Whatever you want it to be. It can be all those things. Again, three, two, one, go. Ooh. Ah, Jedi Knight Aarons, congratulations. There you go. Been following since Mars. Since Mars. Wow. Since Mars. March 2019. <laughs> Thank you so much for playing, man. Thank you. That was a fast one. So a short. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. And last but not least. Drumroll. Angel of Vengeance 13. Angel of Vengeance 13. Congratulations. So remember, type exclamation point win in the chat so that we can get you guys your prizes. We're going to go ahead and take a break. Where the next round should be starting in about, I'm going to call it 45 minutes. That's right. Uh, that would be 615 local time that's eastern this gives me time to watch the new episode of the mandalorian oh hey me too that's the, you want to watch the mandalorian let's watch the mandalorian, we're, we're watch the mandalorian guys we'll be back in Bye. 45 full of spoilers <laughs> this is the way <laughs>